Hey guys, this is Michael reporting live from Cabo San Lucas and we are renting this Airbnb condominium and it is so nice. I can't wait to show you. Hey guys, it's Michael Soldano with the Amanda Vang team. We're here on vacation in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico and we are renting an Airbnb condominium and it is so nice inside. It is actually, to be honest, kind of nicer than some of the homes that we have back home. But I'll show you around, you'll enjoy the sights and the sounds and everything, and it's just so amazing. So we're right here, starting off in the kitchen. Kitchen is, I mean, I guess similar to a kitchen you'd see back home, you've got some really nice backsplash tile. I love how the quartz goes up almost six inches, seven or eight inches, really cool. You've got a built-in induction stove uh, in, the, in the peninsula, a hood. I love these cabinets, they're frameless cabinets, so you get a little more space inside. Um, I really love what they've done with this oven. They've got a smaller oven and the microwave is fully reflective. Just what a cool, cool look. I really like it. Okay, let's get out of the kitchen. Now, let me show you the amazing view that this place has. So we are just a little bit east of the main Cabo San Lucas downtown, and it is just like a panorama. You can see the aqua blue water. I guess there's a, there's a geological formation called the arch over there. You know what, let's go take a look. Just go outside on this balcony. It is so amazingly nice. It's probably about 85, 80-ish degrees, so just, oh my gosh, I feel better already. <laughs> and you know what's even cooler? As you can see, we are right next to Costco. We've already done one Costco run, and what's super cool is that they've got guys at the Costco that will bring your groceries up to the room for you. So this, yeah, Mexican Costco is already 10 times better than American Costco. Um, I'm just over the moon about it. Wow. All right, taking a look at the dining room. I love what they've done here. They've got a large table. You could easily fit 10, maybe even 12 people here. Got some really nice pendant lights. Um, I also love that they've put these enormous mirrors to the left of the dining table. So you, it really makes the room feel a lot bigger. I mean, these mirrors are huge. Like, it's like bigger than me. Isn't that crazy? Wow, so cool. Okay, taking a look at the living room. I love that they've got this like a built-in bar. They actually have a separate fridge right here. Not only that, they've got another mirror behind the bar. So instead of like a backsplash, they have a mirror which makes the room feel bigger. It's already pretty big as it is. Um, each room has its own climate control and air conditioning. So what, what they've done here is instead of having the air conditioner just be exposed, they put a little kind of a wooden feature, a cage around it to make it look nicer. Very cool. Okay. Um, I love that they also have this little nook over here. So you've got a couple extra shelves to add some decor. The whole room just, it's it just, there's so many features. It looks so nice. And I just, I'm just like over, over the moon. Okay, let's go take a look at the two bedrooms now. So we will start off um, in the smaller of the two bedrooms. So no detail was spared in this room either. Um, I love that they've got this, um, the accent wall has like this built up feature with these boards running horizontally. It's got these little sconce lights or little nights for the, each of the nightstands. You have an open concept closet. There's no door for the closet. It's all this amazing shelving. I love it. Big, big shelves, small shelves, storage all the way up to the ceiling. Looking in the bathroom, Pretty straightforward here, but I, you've got a frameless shower door. You actually step down to get into the shower, which is pretty cool. I think it's against code to do that in the United States. There's code, everything's, everything's a little bit different here. But bathroom has everything that you need, really nice. Now let's take a look at the primary bedroom. Once again, you've got this awesome built up feature. This is a little bit bigger than the, in the smaller bedroom, so you can actually put some stuff on it. Um, they, they made the wood run top to bottom, which has a very nice look. These lamps, gold, brushed gold, brushed brass. Oh man, that's so cool. Okay, let's take a look at the primary bathroom. So just like the other bathroom, you've got these open shelves 
so much room, so much storage, very, very versatile. Um, over here we've got the walk-in shower. I like the frosted door, very cool. Um, one nice thing about the shower is that it's actually a rain shower. So the shower head comes right out of the ceiling and it comes right on top of you. Very nice, very nice, very classy. Um, we've got a dual sink design. I love this quartz. It's got a lot of color to it. It's really nice, a big, big mirror and a private toilet area. I like that the toilet area has a door and it's frosted, very cool. A nice, nice little feature. Okay, um, now we're gonna go to a different part of the house. But at first, there's a half bathroom over here. Um, I love how they built this half bathroom into the staircase, so it's got kind of the slanted ceiling. It's a use of uh, otherwise unusable space. Really cool wallpaper. And these steps, I thought these steps would go to like some more bedrooms. You know, it's an Airbnb, it always has a lot of bedrooms. But this is actually my favorite feature of the house. Um, look, so the steps are made of stone. I love that. And you can also see this right here, what they've done. Um, instead of having a baseboard, they have this tile come up and like, a, and like a notch and then the drywall. It's like that throughout the house. Um, you, you see that sometimes in homes in California, but um, yeah, it's definitely a feature that's pretty rare. I like that they have the sconce lights to light the way as you're going upstairs to the biggest surprise ever. Um, all right, are you guys ready? All right guys, so before we step out onto the magical, the most magical place, I need to tell you guys, Amanda picked out this Airbnb you know, I kind of like delegated to her and I said, you pick it out. I'm not gonna like put my input. I'm not gonna say this. Cause sometimes we, there's analysis by paralysis. So I said, you pick it. And this is our rooftop deck. And when I say our rooftop deck, it is our private rooftop deck. So we have this cool little area. You can maybe play some pickleball or something around here, but that's not even the cool part. Come here. Look at how cool this outdoor space is. And it's all ours. We have like this beautiful gazebo right here. Um, all of this quartz countertop. It's probably granite. Oh my God, it feels so good. I just want to keep touching it. Look at this, a Santa Maria grill. They have lobster tails. They have warm water lobster tails that are like the size of your head at Costco. I'm going to get them and I'm going to cook them on here and it, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cry a couple tears of happiness. Um, over here, we've got a beautiful dining table. This would be dining table number two, right? Very nice. Over here, this is, uh, you could call this living room number two. I like this living room better, just, oh my God. Oh, wow, the sun. Not only that, so we're on the sixth floor of the building, so there's not gonna be like a lot of bugs up here or anything like that. Um, wow, look at this view, I can see San Jose, uh, or no, no, that's Cabo San Lucas. And then, wow, just look at just look at this gorgeous, amazing. Wow, I'm, I'm, this is definitely the coolest Airbnb that we have, I think, ever rented. I'm just gonna put that out there. So, super, super amazing. Okay, oh, not only that, I forgot, there's one more feature. So at first, I didn't know this was a private, Rooftop. I thought this was going to go to a different unit or something. But look in here, half bathroom. Look at that. Just just because you don't you don't need to go downstairs to use. The, you can just stay up here all day, and that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hang out here and just enjoy the weather. It's not even that humid, man. I don't want to go back inside. Amanda says we have to go inside. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this condominium tour as much as I did. If you're thinking about buying or selling or investing in real estate, don't hesitate to reach out. Amanda's contact information is below. Have a good one, guys. Bye.